everyone. It's time for morning prayer and devotion on this Tuesday morning. And of course, I'm a couple minutes late and a, and a few of you I've seen actually had found our live stream uh, before it went down just a few moments ago. And it was a technical error that was completely of my making, something I had forgotten to do before we went on the air. And so hopefully you will find us. I've deleted the old uh, recording and uh, fired the thing back up again. And so here we go. Good to see you with us this morning. Looking forward to what the Lord is going to do in our prayer time and in our uh, discussion of the Word of God this morning. In our prayer request today, there are millions who are without electricity this morning due to Hurricane Ida. And there is also massive flooding across the affected areas. So let's be in prayer for those uh, people that are affected by uh, Hurricane Ida today, as well as those in Haiti who are dealing with the aftermath of the earthquake there. We need to pray for Americans who have been uh, left behind in Afghanistan without military support uh, due to the unconscionable and downright asinine actions of this current administration. It's just quite an embarrassment. And yet the Word of God instructs us to pray for our leaders, and we need to continue to do that. But let's pray for those who have been left behind, and um, we need to pray for the thousands of Christians and Afghan citizens who have worked with the U.S. government throughout the war, whose lives are no doubt in peril now under the Taliban regime. And we need to pray also for any missionaries who may still be in the country, and of course we know that in most cases they would be the last to uh, willingly leave uh, because of their deep commitment to the work of God there. We need to pray for revival around the world and right here at home that is the answer to uh, the world's problems is to have a heaven sent revival and we're believing for that today. We need to pray for revival in our public schools, revival in our families, because that's where it starts. We pray for his kingdom to come and his will to be done in earth as it is in heaven. Just start with the smallest piece of earth that you are uh, in control of. There's so many things we can't control, but this earthly tabernacle right here, I can have a personal revival, and I can see it begin to spread throughout my family, throughout my community, and you can do that as well. So let's pray for revival in our families today. We do have many spiritual needs in our families. Let's pray for Mark and Caitlin, Beulah's family, Charles and Amber Gossett, Peggy Fiedler and her family, family, Terry Adams' children. We need our prayers today. Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's children, as well as her granddaughter, Rose, Carl, Connor, Evie, and Haley all need salvation. Lori Arbo's mother, Caroline's family, Sister Pam's children, Tasha's husband and sister, Carmen's daughter Grace, Cheryl's family member, Barbara Owens, Josiah, Missy Ricker, who needs deliverance from depression and anxiety. Nathan needs deliverance from depression this morning. We're praying for Josh, Jamie, Dan, Dalton, Charles, and Dylan, who need deliverance from drug addiction. We continue to pray for our Mingo Job Corps students and the residents of Mingo Residential Care Center, many of whom have been attending church services with us recently. Jennifer and Brenda's family, believing for continued revival there for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, for Judy's brother, Louis Medlin, who needs salvation. We have an unspoken request for Regina Marlin's son this morning, so let's remember him in prayer. Marcia's son has a court date coming up on September the 10th that was just rescheduled, a court date that was supposed to have already happened, but has been pushed back. So let's keep interceding for that need today. We have many physical needs, so many who are battling cancer. Edie Percival has stage four ovarian cancer, has small children, lost her husband to COVID, and really needs a miracle today. Del Bishop and Jerry Williams, Kathy Bloss, Lydia, Philip Randall, Christy Smith, uh, who has stage four metastatic breast cancer and liver cancer, and she also is a mother of young twins. 
Uh, Steve Cummins needs our prayers as he's looking at cancer staging right now and seeing uh, how extensive the cancer is that was recently discovered. Um, Pastor Mickey Lewis is facing surgery for a basal cell carcinoma under his left eye. Others who are battling cancer include David Harris, Michael Boland, Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Claire, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, John Fitzgerald, Kim Stinson, Kathy Burks, Robert Wicks, Dwayne Lewis, Terry Adams' friend, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Lisa Workman, uh, and Ari Bowers. And I think I mentioned, no, Brother Kirk, we want to mention him today as well. Uh, Laura Lay, Jenna, and Tucker are three children who have been going through cancer treatments uh, for most of the time that we've been having these prayer gatherings. I want to continue to hold them up in prayer. Abel Ray has PKU syndrome. Abram Page has a very rare uh, disorder called GNAO1. Baby Brantley and Baby Elsie have heart issues. And uh, Tano Lopez suffers with spina bifida. Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach, these young people have juvenile diabetes. We have several adults battling diabetes, including Terry Adams' friend Marsha, J.R. Johnson, myself, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl Lachance, Emily Stanley, and Tim Workman. Uh, my high school classmate, Brandy McCoy, has been in the hospital with COVID, and we're praying for her recovery. Also for Bishop Bill Jones, for Dennis Lewis's wife, who is on a ventilator and just hanging on to life by a thread. Uh, Teddy Hunsaker, who is now out of the hospital but still recovering from COVID. Several people at Parkway Church in uh, Wisconsin. Pastor Lance Wickett still recovering his strength. Don Marchbanks, we don't have a recent update on him, but let's keep praying for his healing today. Steve Sullivan's father was taken to the hospital Sunday with difficulty breathing and irregular heartbeat. Rebecca Williams has been having pain in her legs. Faye Adams suffered a fall on Sunday and broke her leg. Renee is having problems with her hips and knees. Jean Brightwell has arthritis and disc inflammation in her spine, is going through uh, physical therapy currently. Uh, several with back issues today, Michael Parrott, Carol Dixon's pastor, James Graham, Terry Adams, Tammy Lawson, Britt Moore, and Pam Pulliam's daughter, Jenny, uh, Beulah Ziegler, and Ron Bryant. This is my mother-in-law and my father, both suffer with Parkinson's disease. Russ and Tim Workman also needing healing of Parkinson's. Brother Marty DeLott and Brother Riley March suffer with MS. Lana Taylor, Leslie Pride, and Gerald Hudson all have uh, dementia. Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz have lung issues. Bonnie Pulaski has problems with her lungs, as does Cheryl Lachance. Kenny Prinzel and Cheryl Lachance both have heart issues. We did receive a praise report on Kenny uh, regarding the spot that was on his uh, brain, um, and they've done more scans and things. Uh, look much better. They don't see anything extending into uh, his brain currently. So we thank the Lord for that. Olivia, Terry Adams, Aubrey all have stomach issues. We continue to pray for baby Macy. Uh, we pray for Donald Luttrell and J.B. Goforth who are on hospice care. For Grady Sappington and his family as Grady's wife has late onset schizophrenia and vascular dementia caused by strokes and TIAs. Brother Buford Remains in our prayers today. Tina's mother in our prayers this morning after suffering stroke a couple of months ago. Uh, several with kidney problems. Jim Connor, who's awaiting a kidney transplant. Lee Young, Aubrey and Loren. Brother Virgil Pulliam's brother, who needs healing not only of his kidneys, but also of pancreatitis and cirrhosis of the liver. Jamie Jo is needing healing of her liver. Aubrey Vickery is recovering from surgery. We have several others who are in continued recovery. Lane Reasons, who fractured his pelvis a while back and had so many issues with kidney transplant. And really, God just worked miracle after miracle for Lane. We're thankful for that and believing for his full and complete recovery. Carmen's friend Jamie, recovering from an auto accident and the financial impact of that. Uh, Dwayne Moore, who had part of his colon removed. Rue who finally received his 
uh, lung transplant surgery. And, you know, when I look at these continued recovery requests, they really are all answers to prayer already. And we're so thankful to see what God has brought them through. Uh, Carmen's cousin, Shannon, who's recovering from stroke, and Michael Turner, Sister Arnold, and Sister Shute's father, who are all recovering from heart surgery. Our other physical needs include Beth Wheatley's nephew, Dylan, Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughter, Morgan, Jimmy Holden, Bobby Larmy, Meredith, Nicole, Chloe Isaac, Regina Bishop, Shirley Garner, Judy Williams, Sister Mary, and also Judy's daughter, Jennifer. And this morning we conclude with our uh, prayer request for family needs for Alicia and for Annette and Dave who need healing in their marriage, James and Angela Graham and family, Debbie Biddick's family, the Stewart family, Grace's best friend's family, and brother and sister Woody's family today, all needing our prayers this morning. And to thank the Lord for prayer warriors who care enough to take the time out of their day right here at the beginning of the day to pray for the needs of others. Good to see you this morning, Sister Pam and Sister Carmen. And we're thankful for Carmen's praise report this morning. We want to continue to pray for strength and healing for Grace's ankle and also comfort for their family as uh, they are having the uh, home going for her aunt, Erlene, who passed away last week while we were doing our pre-recorded um, devotions. So hopefully you saw those requests at that time. Uh, Sister Judy, good to see you. Marcia, Kristen, we're thankful for each of you this morning. Um, Brother Ron wants us to keep him in our prayers today for his blood pressure. Um, he had a weekend at the ER getting everything stable with that. So, Brother Ron, you're in our prayers every day, but thank you for letting us know this new situation so we know how to direct our prayers this morning. Sherman, good to see you. What a great crew we have this morning, and thank you for your patience as from time to time we do have some difficulties and most of the time there uh, nothing that I can do anything about but this morning was actually one of those cases where uh, I had forgotten an important piece of equipment I forgot to put the uh, chip in the in the camera this morning and so we got off to a bad start due to that I want to read to you from Hebrews chapter 11 now verse 8 Continuing from where we left off yesterday, it says, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Think about this, going someplace but not knowing where. That sounds like a bad business practice. And we wonder how can that represent people honored for their faith. You're out there going somewhere but you don't know where. You know, my wife and I, a couple of years ago, and we've, we've done it a, a time or two maybe since, uh, we decided on the 4th of July to uh, just get in the car and just take a drive and we didn't know where we were going, didn't care. We were just enjoying uh, the area around our home, and we uh, just took off driving, and when we come to an intersection, we'd flip a coin, and one of the results of that coin was it gave us the direction to take the next road, and we ended up in some interesting places uh, within a couple hours of our home and saw a lot of back roads that we had never even been on before but it was quite interesting but but now that was leaving our endeavor completely to chance and sometimes we think that of people who are living their lives by faith but 
Abraham was not living on a coin toss. He was living on the direction of God as God spoke to him and led him through each stage. He did not know where he was going, but God knew where he was going. And I want to tell somebody this morning that maybe you don't know where you're going right now, but you're listening for the voice of God. And if you'll trust him today, he will get you where you are going. And I think that's a powerful word this morning to understand that whenever we're following God, we are not just wandering around. We're not just going from place to place with no apparent focus. But when God looked at Abraham, others looked at someone who was behaving foolishly. But God saw a man who did life but never took his eyes off of his eternal reward. And I think I'll just uh, leave off right there this morning and go to prayer. Let's keep our focus on our eternal reward and on what God has promised to us. Let's listen for his voice. Tomorrow we'll pick this devotion up. I didn't get very far into it, but we'll pick it up right there and, and talk some more about Abraham tomorrow. But today, as we go to prayer, let's focus on walking by faith and not by sight, listening for the voice of God. I believe that God has a particular direction in mind. It's, this is not a coin toss kind of day. But God is directing us. If we will listen for his voice in prayer today, God will give us wisdom and direction for this day. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you hear our prayers. And we thank you that we know that we are not on our own. We are not alone, Lord. You are with us and you are directing us. Just as sure as my voice is speaking, Lord, today to each of these prayer warriors and those who are watching these videos throughout the day. Lord, you are speaking into our lives. Sometimes it's not in a way that would be uh, quite so apparent as my voice speaking audibly, but we all know your voice. We know the nudging of your presence. We know your spirit as it begins to move upon us today. And I pray today that we would be open and sensitive to your will for us, that we would be able to be directed by your presence, Lord, into the places that you want us to be, Lord, to minister in people's lives today. Lord, I'm talking about those spiritual paths, those spiritual roads we need to go down today, Lord, to reach someone who is in need. Lead us today. Guide us, Lord. Let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Let revival begin in us today. Let it spread, Lord, through our homes, our families, our communities, Lord, throughout our entire world today. Let it happen in our public school systems today. In Jesus' name. Lord, we pray, God, for those who have suffered much loss uh, through earthquake in Haiti and, and now this hurricane in the southern uh, part of our nation in Louisiana and Mississippi. Lord, in those areas that have been affected by Hurricane Ida, you see the millions that are without electricity this morning, dealing with flood damage, people who are in peril for their very lives. Lord, we pray, God, your help today, your divine intervention for them. We pray, Lord, for the rescue teams and for the assistance that's coming, Lord, those who are volunteering to help clean up the damage. We pray your protection upon them today. We pray, Lord, for those who are left behind in Afghanistan right now. We pray, Lord, that you would move on their behalf. We pray for their safety. We pray, God, for the thousands of Christians and Afghan citizens in that nation, Lord, who have worked with the U.S. government, whose lives are in danger right now. We pray, God, for any of our missionaries that are there in that country today. Oh, God, you are our protector. You are our help and our strength. Give direction today. Give wisdom, Lord, for those who are there and are trying yet to help without any support from the government today. We pray, God, for the spiritual needs that are going on in our families. We pray, God, for each one that's been listed on this uh, in this prayer gathering today, names that we have called out this morning. Lord, that you would move in each and every family, that you would move in each and every home today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, set people free today from drug addiction. Oh, God, we pray that you would move in these unspoken needs today for Regina's son, Lord. Oh, God, you are able, Lord, those in our families that are lost, those who need deliverance from depression, from different kinds of addiction today. 
Oh, Lord, we know that you are able to break those chains of bondage. And we know that the anointing breaks the very yoke of the bondage of sin. Hallelujah. The yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. Let your anointing flow this morning. Hallelujah. Over these airwaves right now. Hallelujah. Throughout social media today, God, let your presence be felt in this prayer gathering and in others that are going on similar to it today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, for Marcia's son. Lord, for Josh, as he's facing this court date, we pray your will to be done in that situation. Lord, each one that's battling cancer this morning, oh, we lift them up before your throne of grace. God, we know, Lord, that you are their healer. Touch them right now, we pray. Touch these children, Lord, who are suffering this morning. We pray, Lord, for Carmen's family. Lord, you see their heavy hearts today. Lord, as they're laying their Aunt Erlene to rest, we pray, God, that you would just comfort and strengthen them. We pray for grace, Lord, for a physical touch, a healer, God, of every kind of disease. You're the healer of diabetes today. You're the healer of COVID, Lord. We pray for Brandy, for Bishop Jones, and for Sister Cindy Lewis, for Teddy Hunsaker, for those at Parkway Church that are recovering, Lord, for Pastor Lance Wicket, and for Don Marchbanks. So many names that are not on this list today that are battling COVID. We believe for their healing right now. We pray for Brother Sullivan's father, Lord, that you would touch his body. For Rebecca, Lord, that she would receive healing in her legs. For Faye Adams to receive healing of her leg today, God, that she would recover quickly from this fall and from this uh, broken leg. We pray for Renee today. God, touch her hips and knees. Touch Jean Brightwell today as she goes through physical therapy. Those who are suffering with back issues this morning, we believe for their healing. Those who are suffering with Parkinson's and MS and dementia, you are Lord over every sickness and disease, over every affliction, Lord Jesus. We just give you praise right now. Oh, hallelujah. We lift you up, Lord. We're thankful that we know you. We're thankful that we can call upon your name in prayer, that we can invoke your all-powerful name and know, Lord, that you are as close as the mention of your precious name this morning. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord Jesus. We believe for healing of the lungs today, respiratory systems, Lord, to be healed today. We pray for Cheryl and Kenny, Lord, believing for healing of their heart issues, healing of those with stomach issues today. We lift up baby Macy and Donna Latrell and J.B. Goforth, we pray for Grady and Sheila and their family today. We pray for Brother Ron today. God, touch Brother Ron Buford right now. We pray for his blood pressure, God, to come back to where it needs to be and to be stable. We pray for his hands today, God, for healing in his hands today. In Jesus' name, we pray for Tina's mother. We pray for those suffering with kidney problems. We pray, Lord, for those who are needing healing in their liver, in their pancreas right now. In Jesus' name, those who are recovering from surgery, we pray for Aubrey today, believing for her complete recovery. I thank you, Lord, for your touch upon me, that I'm getting stronger each day, less soreness and less pain, and I give you praise for that, Lord. I pray for Carmen's cousin, Shannon, for Michael Turner, for Sister Shute's father, and for Sister Arnold, for Rue and Dwayne, and for Jamie today, for Lane Reasons, Lord. We believe for their full and complete recovery. We thank you for the miracles that you've worked on their behalf, and we're believing, Lord, to see the completion of the work that you have begun. Hallelujah. According to your word, you're able to keep that which we commit unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're able, God, to do anything today. We believe for healing for Dylan and for Morgan, for Meredith and for Bobby Larmy, for Jimmy Holden and Nicole, for Chloe for Regina Bishop and for Shirley Garner, for Judy's sister Mary and for Judy's daughter Jennifer. We believe, God, for healing in our families today, healing in marriages, Lord. Move for Annette and Dave. Move for Alicia today, for James and Angela's family, for Debbie's family today. We pray for the Woody family and the Stewart family. And you see Grace's best friend's family today and their struggles. We pray you would move on their behalf this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise for all of these things. We love you and we praise you and we thank you 
Oh God, hallelujah for what you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with me. Let's join together again tomorrow morning uh, to take these needs to the Lord, to share our victory reports, our praise reports. Thank you to those who are sharing those this morning. Uh, those who watch later in the day, if you have a praise report, please share it with our team. A prayer request, we will add you to the list for our next prayer gathering. And of course, as we see those, we'll go ahead and pray for those even before that we're all coming together. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you right here on Facebook Live again tomorrow morning at 730.